Authoring your Flash video projects within the Flash application itself will provide you with the widest number of options and greatest level of control. For example, you can author in Flash an imported video file that is already deployed to a web server, or you can work with a video file that is stored locally on your computer and then upload the file to the server after importing it into your FLA file. You can also use the pre-built video controls called skins or use the Flash authoring environment to build a custom control interface. So in this movie, let me introduce you to some of these techniques of working with your Flash video files in the Flash application. For progressive download, you would do the following. And when working with Flash video, you would first open up Flash and then choose File, Import, Import Video. That brings up the Import Video Wizard here. The first screen is to select your video. You would select the video file located on your local computer. Click on the Next button at the base of the window. On the Deployment screen, you would choose Progressive Download from a web server. Notice that this deployment method requires Flash Player 7 or later. And there's some additional information here in the window. If the video you're deploying is not in the FLV format, the Import Video Wizard will display the encoding panel. For more information on encoding your video using the Import Video Wizard, visit the Importing Video section of this course. Click on the Next button, and then you would choose the skin that you would like to use with your progressive download. Notice that you have quite a number of skins available to use with a little picture, thumbnail of what the skin will look like. Your options are not to use a skin with the video, to select one of the predefined skins. You can also select a custom skin of your own design by entering the URL of the skin on the server. Once you've chosen a skin, click on the Next button at the base of the window. Flash will then give you a summary of what it will do when you click on the Finish button. The Video Import Wizard here will encode your source video clip into the FLV format if it isn't already in the FLV format. And then it will create a video component on the stage that you can use to test the video playback locally. You'll need to upload the following assets to the web server hosting your video. You'll need to upload the FLV encoded video clip, which will be located in the same folder as the source video clip you selected. It'll have the FLV extension. Note that if the video clip is in the FLV format already, Flash uses a relative path to point to the FLV file relative to the SWF file, letting you use the same directory structure locally that you'll use on the server. It'll also require that you upload the video skin if you choose to use a skin. If you choose to use a predefined skin, Flash copies the skin into the same folder as the FLA file. And you'll also need to upload the video component you must edit the component's URL field to that of the web server to which you're uploading the video using the component inspector panel, which I'll cover later in the course. If you choose to import video for streaming or for the Flash video streaming service, much would be the same, except let me go back to the deployment window. You would choose either stream from Flash video streaming service, this option, or the stream from Flash communication server. You would also need to select the video clip that you want to import, as well as a skin. The skins are the same. The video import wizard will also encode your source video clip into an FLV format. You'll need to upload the following assets to the Flash Media Server, or the FVSS hosting your video the FLV encoded video clip. Notice that it will have an FLV extension as with the progressive download. Note that if you the video you're working with has previously been deployed to your Flash Media Server or Flash Communication Server or FVSS Hosting, you can skip the step. You'll also need to upload the video skin and the video component. You must change the FLV playback component URL field to specify the web server again to which you're uploading the video. 
Now, if you're broadcasting a live video stream using Macromedia's Flash Video, it's the same as the basic idea of streaming on demand, which will be pre-recorded Flash Video. You would provide a video stream to the Macromedia Flash Media server, again, which is formerly the Flash Communication Server. This streams it to the people who visit your site, and those visitors then view the stream using the Macromedia Flash Player. However, the way you provide the video stream for live video is very different. You need a source of live video, and that video feed must be encoded in real time as it's captured, unlike the procedure for on-demand video. With live video, the capturing, encoding, and publishing steps all happen at the same time. Now, before you can add the on-demand or pre-recorded video to your web page, you must acquire the video and then encode it, which will be the topic of the next movie.